G43X. Dave, what you know about it? Well, you're the first one to buy it from here. <laughs> How did it go down? Uh, it come out, you said I'll take it. <laughs> the, the armorer brought one right out, the gunsmith brought one right out, brought out two. I'm going with the 43X. How, what do you think about it? How, how does it feel to you? It feels great to me, man. Feels great. Feels better than my 43. I don't have a 43. If I would have had the 43, I probably would not have gotten it. Got me some swag. I'm starting the GSF. GSSF. That's pretty cool. Got the swag. Sticker. Okay, guys. G43X just came out. I'm kind of stoked. So I got this whole range over here to myself for now. So what I got to do is I'm going to throw... I went right from the purchase directly to the small bay here and uh, I've got it exclusively for the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some lube on this guy got some of this alpha sauce and uh, so I'm gonna lube her up and we're gonna put some shots on it I don't have a tripod or anything so I've got my uh, we're gonna go 30 feet on typical target small target size so we can compare that to this is my CCW, this Walther PPS M2. I'll kind of give you a comparison. We know that the because of this guy on the 10 plus one, it's going to be a little longer than this guy with the six plus one mag. So let's have a look. Dimensions wise, let's put this guy. This guy on this. Very similar. Should be something like that. Dimensions wise, it was that. Six plus one versus ten plus one. All right, let me put some ammo, uh, some shots down range, and see what we come up with. good to me. beads in here like this. Hit the rails. Put our guide rod back in. Doing this kind of hastily. Oh, 
shoot some Fioki. 15 grade F and J. We're going to do 11 shots. 10 plus the 1. Right now we're going to drop it out 30 feet. I'm loading it up. One in the chamber. Okay, a little high to the left. Shoots good, it's really snappy. Definitely snappy. Let's do 10 more. So we can dial it in, get, get more used to the gun. Alright, we're going to clean it up, put a little side on. Take a look. Eleven shots down there. That felt pretty good. I'm getting used to the gun now. This is a gun that should just last. I'm not real keen on this finish, but uh, oh well, it's a tool. Who cares about the finish? Just keep keep going with it. Forty-three. Minutes. There you have it. I pulled that second or third one. That trigger. It's, it tri my, my it's finger like a five got, and a half or six, my right? My finger got all the way in there. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I was having to. I think that's me right there. Yeah. Load it up, go again. You sure? Yeah. You shoot all your ammo. That is slick. <laughs> so how you doing? You dialing them in a little bit. I'm still over here. Yeah. Still over in here. Do you mind if I dry fire it first? Yeah, yeah, please. It's pretty cool. I mean, the action's a little crunchy. It's not as smooth, you know? Yeah. But I bit. think that'll wear in. It's brand new, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can get you some shots in. I got a few rounds you can use. I'm on. I shot high and to the left. Cause I just, I think it was too much finger cause it's so skinny. Yeah. And then I had to adjust my finger a little bit, my finger, uh, trigger finger. And then uh, I started zooming, getting them in through a couple, but then I was able to get them all in the black at, at, at 30. Uh, I think we're all, depending on our hand size, it just depends on, you know, 
the field. The 43X? 43X, yeah. yeah. 43 <laughs> See, I didn't have a. So I didn't really, you know what I mean? I just yeah. bought it. It's a little it, too small for me, but the, with the, with the uh, two round extensions work. Yeah. yeah. And see, and that gets you to what? Eight plus one. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Four's for me. Four's for me. Four's for me. Yeah, you did the exact same thing. You get used to it, you throw a couple, and then you start dialing it in. Your accuracy gets better. Once you get the, get comfortable with it. My grip was loose, because I'm not used to such a skinny. I had to really manhandle it. And then uh, the other one was my support hand. And the slide wasn't sideways. So once I kind of figured out where I was going to be on the pistol, yeah, then I was it, able to shoot it. That was me starting. Figured it out and I got it up there. Yeah. I like hey, that. Get in there. Come on. At least you get to say you shot it. Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing the first 100 anyway, so I'd rather just shoot it and you know. It, it's definitely I. I've got a shield, and the grip of it, I think of my shield, but I love the grip better. It fits. Better. What size are your hands? Large, medium? Medium? Yeah. yeah. About like my 43. What's the difference between that and your 43, you think? Not a thing. Same, same width? Feels the same to me. Sa Same to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Yep. You think that'll be a popular seller? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just because it's Glock. <laughs> Just because it's Glock, man. It's the, it's the shiny new toy. Yeah. Shiny new toy. Yeah. Color. Oh yeah. I like it. Cool. Thanks for coming out and helping me shoot it, guys. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. All right. Appreciate you letting me shoot. You're welcome. Anytime. We're going to go up close and personal. We're going to do 21 feet. Uh, I know what some of you guys are thinking. You could hit the broad side of a barn at 21. And you would be right. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Not bad. Fun little concealed carry gun. Not to saying it's the best option in the world, but it's pretty damn solid. Hey guys, just got home from the range. We're going to do some trigger pulls here. Clean the gun up. What a great day of shooting. Can't complain at all. Very pleased with the gun. Uh, pulling just under five and a half on that one. Let's do one more. Right around five and a half. Hey guys, I wanted to do a little better tabletop side by side. I don't really have a lot of small single stacks. My Walther PPS M2 is my very first one. This is still a pleasure. Now we got the 43X. Wanted to do some comparison. Of course, we know about the plus one in the chamber. So you can do the six plus one, the seven plus one mag, 
the 8 plus 1. You can see the extensions on the bottom. So let's do a comparison. In terms of length, you can see that the Walther is, has a longer barrel, or based upon the ergonomics. Okay, that would be like that. And what I really want to show you is the grip. Let's, let's bump up to the 7. This is an approximation. You can see now we're about even. This guy's just a tad longer. See that? All right. And let's bump up to the eight. And this guy does feel good though. And we can see that they are practically identical. I would say the guy on the right's a little longer than the one on the left, Walther. All right. In terms of shootability, Walther is still king. Ergo's from the Germans. This guy just feels really good. This is a standard Glock feel. There's nothing wrong with the Glock. Great ejection from the Glock. Gen 5 as we know and love. Front serrations. Bull nose for easy holster. It's not a smooth finish. It's a little grippy. So my advice to you is go to the store, get your hands on one, give it a feel. Um, the 48 and the 43X, those magazines are interchangeable. It does come with the standard Glock sights. Most guys replace those. If you're used to Glocks and you love your Glocks, this will feel no different. Just nice and skinny and concealable. Overall, I anticipate this guy's going to sell like hotcakes. This is a really good gun. There's nothing wrong with it. It's going to be super dependable and reliable. This is the first time or second time Glock's really coming out with these kind of two-tone colors if you don't like it i suppose you could change it grab yourself one now if you never got in on the 43 as i said earlier why not do it now if you don't have the 365 or you don't have the walthers or any of the other brands the shields this is your entry don't hold back 10 plus one on the glock magazines this guy is really good. Uh, on the 48, he's just a little bit longer. People do say the 48's a little more shootable. This guy is very shootable. You just gotta watch your fingers. This is a small slide, so you can't be real grippy. I like to grip high. So I, when I was shooting mine, it wasn't coming back all the way. So you do have to kind of adjust, lower your support hand grip, right? When you're giving it your good grip. Other than that, uh, the other thing is, guys, because of the reach from here and the webbing of your hand, to your finger look how much finger i can get in on that gun you really have to adjust and remember this spacing in here you want to kind of take out that spacing but yet you want to do and pull and you don't want this gun to go like this as you're pulling it so smaller guns you have to compensate if you're used to shooting your 19 and the bigger bigger fatter grips or there's big 1911s with the wood you're gonna have you have to just adjust but come on this is a concealed carry shooter if you want precision marksmanship out to 100 yards uh, you're looking at a different completely class of gun anyway, not your sting single stacks or the 1.5 stack, however this thing was really doing it. Overall, I'm very pleased with this gun. I had a lot of gift cards, so I just, I had them accumulating, right? Those visas, 25, 50. Man, I had some of these things for like three years. So anyway, so 468, I was able to go in and chuck down like $180 or $175 in gift cards and pay the difference. So there you go, man. It made it made me feel like I got this gun on sale. I'm gonna be shooting this a lot at the range. Folks, like my stuff, share, subscribe, keep coming back. My vids are getting better and better. Thanks for watching. And we are out of here. Take care of yourself. Bye now.